Okay. Stop for a tea break. Were you were we talking about stop for a tea break? Did we stop for a tea? Because we didn't realise it was going to go this long. <laughs> like how long? Yeah. The the, the awakening. The awakening. <laughs> we're talking about well, it was interesting, isn't it? We're talking a bit about yourself um, and your story, mm. your background. Um, Crumbs, yeah. From being born in a housing state, whatever that yeah, means. Yeah, whatever that means. Um, uh, growing up, having a lot of fun as a kid, then getting involved in some petty stealing and that escalating, yeah. um, and escalating to a point whereby you know all sorts of more serious kind of stuff happens and ending up in jail, um, and then afterward deciding after seeing you know something on TV and thinking actually I could act better than that, deciding to go yeah follow for, this, for, for, yeah. for that dream and first of all you know some ups and downs, but really going for it and then getting to a point taking that seriously, getting an agent, um, and then getting uh, a role in a big budget film. Um, and then you said just on the lead up to that, yeah. an awakening kind of happening. And you made the point that lots of different small life has all sorts of little awakenings along the yeah. way. But tell us what what happened and yeah, yeah okay. what's happened so, since. So, okay, so December, December 2007, mm. um, I met a woman and um, had this experience which basically I thought, you know, like a lot of people might think that they've fallen in love. Excuse me, and um, had this experience, and you know, I've very much fallen in love yeah. in, in what I would describe as falling in love. Mm. So I was like, okay. But prior to that, I just want to backtrack a tiny bit. Prior to that, yeah. there was we had the whole self development thing going on, and, and, yeah. and looking at like positive thinking and yeah. different perspectives of psychological pers perspectives, and 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 looking at how my life had been unfolding, and I'd been doing some entrepreneurial things, and you know, I was looking at society, as I said, yeah. So on on the first talk is then at this point it's like this like boom of oh, this love mm. come into my life yeah. yeah so at first it was like okay it's this woman yeah and it's like i've oh, fallen in love yeah. and i thought okay this is just um you know sexual attractive love yeah. you know not just lust but like a deeper mm. love and something i hadn't experienced with past um, partners mm. and and this sort of you could say this was like the catalyst mm. that then created this oh no this isn't just attractive one-on-one -on -one love. Yeah. This is some, something else. This is some boom. Yeah. This is like, whoa, what is this? You know, yeah. my perception changed, my vision changed, my senses heightened, my awareness changed. It was like, it was like what people would think that they might experience taking an ecstasy tablet, and I've taken a lot of ecstasy tablets. It's what people might experience when they take an MDMA powder. I've taken a lot of MDMA powder, but it was. There was none of this. There was no taking no drugs. There was no mushrooms. There was nothing. It was just this, this feeling, this overwhelming feeling of joy, peace, love, happiness, awareness, expansion, connection. You know, it was all. It was all in there. You know, it was all in there, and it was like whoa. And this sort of, and then I was like, I mean, I was buzzing for a month, mm. constant. Like I was in this zone for about a month. Mm. Like really, I mean, I've got a video which, if if I put this live, you guys will see me. We even call it a nutty professor because mm. it's to do with the woman that I was with. I, mm. I sort of have to sing to her. Mm. I'm singing to her not just about her, but about the essence of this connection. And I'm like bouncing around, and I've got this like wild hair because I've got out of the shower. Yeah. And it's like when you look at it back, you're like, yeah. I'm like, what is what is I on? Yeah. You know, what is I on? And then what happened is I was in that sort of state of ecstasy, if you want to call it that, yeah. just for labelling for a good duration. Yeah. And then it started to filter out. And then it started to, I started to observe it and write about this. I was writing at this point. So I've written journals, 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 2007, 2008, 2009, journals, journals, journals. All this writing starts coming out. Profound stuff, you know. And I'm thinking, where's all this coming from? So that come at the same point I got this film and I want to be an actor then all of a sudden it's like no I don't want to be I don't want to be an actor and just make films there's like I want to be a part of the collective conscious shift into a vibration of this I want people to experience this you know because whenever you have that true essence of love whenever you have that true feeling of love as Mm. Right, if you've taken an ecstasy tablet, you go, come on man, you've got to take one too. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever taken them, but yeah. you're like, you, come on man, you've got to take one too. Yeah. Oh, this is lovely, man, yeah. it's lovely. Or if you have a drink, 
Yeah. Even if you go and do go on a roller coaster, what do yeah. you do when you get off a roller coaster? Yeah. You gotta go on it. You gotta go on it. But know? this is different because you, would, as you said, you'd known that, that that kind of thing if you'd taken a, a tablet or something. But here was something where it was lasting for months, where it wasn't induced by anything. It like wasn't was induced. Cancer. So this time I'm like, whoa. So, so what was? Um, I don't even want to say that. What necessarily? What was happening? But what, 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 what? Tell us a little bit about what the. The impact, you, you know, you said that you had this feeling that you wanted to, it was not just there for about wanting to film, you wanted to be involved in this whole collective kind of thing. Can you, because lots of people when they hear something like that might be thinking, and if you're wanting them to kind of experience part of this, I might think, yeah, yeah. okay, right, Simon, you've, now he's, complete, he's completely lost it. You know, and for lots Don't of people do. who will have, uh, have any kind of experience that is what, whatever label we put it on, an awakening or a, any kind of an epiphany or whatever yeah. words people might yeah. want to put on it, people were like, well, hang on a minute, what on earth are you talking about? And there seems to be a distance between you and them. Yes, totally, so, totally, totally, totally wonderful. Yeah, so tell us... Yeah, Beautiful yeah. question, beautiful so, question. So tell us what was what was happening for you and how has life changed? Because it sounds as though there's something that was, something you were aware that something radical had had happened. As you said, your, your perceptions and your, 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 you know, your, how you were seeing things was, was shifting. Was, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 okay. So, yeah, so, so you're, you're right in what you're saying. Some people, everybody needs to label it. So some people call it a kundalini awakening. Some people call it a epiphany. Some people just call it an awakening, the whole concept of awakening. Um, if, if, if anything, I would say that just... I would probably just say that my awareness, mm. rather than going up one notch or a little few notches at a time seemed to go up maybe 50 or whatever yeah. at once yeah. but also that created a feeling mm. within me mm. that was that was quite overwhelming yeah. you know it was yeah. quite overwhelming well it sounds you know? as though and I'm, I'm wondering and I'd be interested to, you know obviously to hear more from you but it there's, there's, there's a subtlety here that I'm wondering that it seems as though there's a shift between lots of stuff that had been before focused on these are the things that I need to be doing and then something like, wow, this is, I'm part of Yeah, I don't need to do anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's I'm like, part of, I'm you know, part before of it's it. me. But yeah, before yeah, it's yeah, me, yeah. me, 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 I need to. Yeah, yeah. But this seems yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a shift in, yeah, is, that, is, yeah. that, is that That's fair beautiful. to say? Yeah, it's totally fair to say. And it actually brings more up for me, which mm. is, yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm just, you. Yeah. Yes. As you know, where me and you have spoken yeah. before, I, I don't. Well, let's talk. Okay, well, if I put a word on it. Yeah. The viewers and also we limit mm -hmm. the essence of what it is yeah. and I don't also want to be very mindful to the people listening and everybody else that this isn't something that if you have an experience you have to get to mm -hmm. this isn't something that I think I'm better than you or, or I'm having a better experience than anybody mm -hmm. or that I even think I know anything mm -hmm. all I can share is how I was feeling in the words that I used and what you just said there was really really um, powerful is that you realize you are part of this whole experience. Mm. You're a speck within mm. the vastness of it. Yeah, the, the, the phrase I love that came to me once is this, the, you know, the, uh, this phrase that people say all the time came to me, you know, it's a common phrase, and it just came back to my mind thinking, that's an interesting phrase, and wow, is that what it means? Part and parcel of, mm. that you're part of whatever is going on in life, of course we're mindful that we're part, like we might be part in, in a film or part in whatever. But your parcel, of, it's happening kind of through you and everything that's happening is happening through you. So everything in life pertains to you. So you are the parcel as well as yeah, that, totally. as, as, as well as, so I, totally. I don't know if that, no, no, totally you know, yeah. so. Uh, yeah. You notice that at this point, I don't know if you noticed that we get to a point where and if the viewers have been watching this, you'll notice that we've got to a slow point. Mm. Can you feel the energy mm. shifting? Oh, yeah. Because when you get to this place, mm. yeah, you've it's got, beautiful, you've got, it? but yeah. also you've got to take time yeah. because <laughs> you know sometimes you rush ahead. I, I rush ahead, and I'm like, oh, you know, it is it? And it's like you, you can't fundamentally you cannot label it, mm. but it it seems to dissolve. Mm. A whole heap of crap. Yeah, and it would seem to dissolve a lot of the story. That yes, we, all of the story. Like even story. telling you this story now, yeah. and I just said to you, I'm telling you guys this story, and I'm looking back and I'm going, did I, was I even part of that? Yeah. Did that happen? And not because I don't want to own it, because I do want to own it. It was, yeah. it was, it's brought me to presumably where I am now, but it's like, 
when you go like that and you see that, you, because you're part of the spec and you're part of the whole, a part of the parcel, and, you know, and the parcel and, and, and so on, it's like all of that just doesn't, it's just, it's like, why would I even be concerned with any of that? Yeah. Why would I be concerned about any of this conditioning? Why would I be concerned about any of this pain, suffering, all of this other stuff that's around me when I have the ability to be part of this vast yeah. wonder, this epic, indescribable, indescribable, mystical, wonderful, unfolding isness of nothing and everything at once, but even these words can't even describe it, of a multiverse, of a planet, of, 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 of creation, of energy, of these supposed 60 trillion cells that make up this wonderful hand and there's no right or wrong and nothing good or bad and everything just is syn synchronistically somehow created like the hair parts on my hand, the nails are there, my teeth in there, my mouth and then people go, well, what about the people that are deformed or, or dysfunctional or whatever it is it's like none of that even makes, none of it, it's all perfect it's only when you label it that you you, you, you separate it. Yeah, and that life is just unfolding in all of its different manifestations and yeah. unfolding, imploding, yes. creating, chaotic, creative, all that kind of stuff that's yes. happening. I want to kind of, in a way, jump to where please, we are now, please. which is that this kind of stuff that you're doing now, because uh, it strikes me that one of the things that you, you said, you still said, you know, there's still passion for films and, and so on, but uh, at the same time, it seems to me that you're now passionate about about this thing that we've talked about, about life, and that there's a number of things that you do, and I wanted to talk a little bit about that, and I think that's one of the reasons why I wanted to kind of film you, because I really, when we met, I really liked the sound of what you were doing and the place that you were doing it from, and that real life experience that you were coming from yeah. with this particular kind of stuff. Yeah. So tell us a little okay. bit about some of the products at the moment, but first let's make a start with the Simon on the Sofa. Okay, so Simon on the Sofa, okay, so Simon on the Sofa, S Simon on the Sofa stemmed from when I had this awareness unfolded, I realised that fundamentally, actually, love, they call it love, but love drove this, love's driving all this. I'm no longer in, I'm no longer in control of trying to control what I'm doing. I'm actually being taken on a journey via an energetic force. That might sound crazy, like I'm being possessed or something. No, I'm totally aware that I'm in control of my choices, but also I'm being taken on a, on a journey. And love was is now i'm going to call it love again just for the, mm. is navigating that journey mm. yeah or this awareness or this driving energy force is navigating this journey synchronistically the way it's unfolding the beautiful people i'm meeting like the way that me and rash have met is just being you know it's beyond it's abundant it's rich it's wonderful so simon and sober come out of the realization that i was living a lie I was living in a lie, and most people around me were, and most people still are, and the communication that they were communicating with was also coming from a foundation of fear and lies. So I was like, man, I'm now talking and having these transparent conversations with people, and they're creating these like epiphanies and awakenings and, and so on, and I'm like... So these very open conversations yes. where on the sofa people can come along and talk, explore life, and through that, seeing life as it is in all of its abundance, that... Yeah. Right. There's that opportunity for people to share and see yes. what, and explore what's going on in yeah. the nature of life. Yeah. But also, I had loads of those conversations before I filmed them. Right. So the key thing is, is I was having these conversations and I was thinking, imagine, like me and you would have one, and yeah. afterwards go, imagine that. Right. If we just filmed them, that. imagine what that would do to empower other people yeah. to then go, ah, oh, I can share exactly what I'm thinking, feeling, and who I am. And, and so not through promoting my book or promoting who I am, but sharing just being here, yeah. in the vulnerability, because the vulnerability is the power, God, yeah. the vulnerability is the joy. I just want to say to you, Vash, I feel scared today, I feel crap, but this, this is quite overwhelming, I might want to kill myself, I don't like the fact that I don't like my job, I don't like society, blah, 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 blah. But let's share it, let's come together, because you know what? We all feel the same. Yeah, and there's something very powerful about that, and beautifully just <coughs> open about the Sum of the Sofa series, because there's a number of different, a range of different people you interview, some of them are people who, um, uh, may well be, uh, I guess, uh, people who are spiritual teachers. Some of them are ordinary people. Even these labels. Yeah, seem yeah. Bit silly. I just, like, I like to just say, people from all walks of life. People from all walks of yeah. life, just sharing and yeah. you're exploring life, yeah. and it's a, uh, it's, it's a and dance. Could, isn't and it? Yeah, and you could say, and, and and again, it's yeah, it's a dance. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't like 
as a because I don't think the tramp is a tramp or any lower than me. But it's like you could say from the tramp to the prophet yeah. in terms of like you know that yeah. spectrum of, of yeah. people. You know the young child as well. You know the teenagers love to speak with teenagers because they're the essence of our of our generation unfolding. Yeah. And, and old people as well. You know young old whatever. And know. before we close, I want to talk a little bit about conscious media. Okay, so yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. So, so let's wrap so, up. So, so okay, so Simon on the sofa is is basically I wanted to do it from a place of love. It was free and so on. So it doesn't make yeah. any money. So. You know, at this point in time, is that the sofa is now looking for sponsorship and so on and so forth. Little plug there, mm. okay, like that, okay. If you're a philanthropist and you want to get involved in this, you're yeah. welcome. You know, if we're in the same yeah. vibration, then we can create. Yeah. I'm already trying to get bash involved. No, <laughs> <laughs> he keeps telling me he's got no money. <laughs> uh, but um, conscious media is a conscious media platform to create conscious content for people who are wanting to make a difference in their life and wanting to just share. Um, you know, video content, websites, and and, and, and media content that fundamentally, because like we said earlier, me and Rash come from the same mind that you know nothing needs to be done. It's all unfolding. If I die tomorrow, Rash leaves these bodies tomorrow. It's still going to go on. You guys are still going to be here. The thing's going to still continue. Evolution's going to unfold. Electricity is going to you know, technology is going to continue to do its thing. Question is, while I'm here, now I'm in this space, and I'm in this space, what do we want to do? Because it's a game, it's a dance, it's a play, what do I want to do? So, creating conscious content and giving people the ability to express themselves, I get a buzz from. So this is, so this is you and a, and, and, a, and a team of like-minded people, yeah. and it's making from, from video content? Video, uh, yeah, so video, virals, um, all video content really, websites, but you know, we can, make, we can make short movies, viral movies, infomercials, corporate videos, documentaries, which I really love, there's some amazing ones out there, yeah. um, but also we can, we, you know, we, we film talks, yeah. we do live events, so people that might be doing a speak, like yourself, like doing a speaking yeah. event and want to put that up on your website. Yeah. Um, yeah, so really just bringing, like you said, a like-minded group of people yeah. together who are all freelance and who all have amazing talents and, and, and they just bring that to the pie, really. That's good, that's just giving me a thought. Okay, <laughs> so that's a one might talk to. We'll have a conversation. Yeah, I'd love to. We'll yeah. have a conversation. I'm sure something will unfold and, man and manifest. Yeah. I'm, I'm absolutely sure of that. Tell us the web address for both. Web address is simononthesofa.com um, and the other one is consciousmedia.co.uk. Um, and yeah, check check them out. And, and I'm just having some work done at the moment on the sofa, so that will all be linked together. And, and tell me, I mean, before we close, um, yeah, well, it's rich. We've got so yeah, much to go off so of this. I mean, there's so because much. I know, like, we skimmed it as well. But you know, I know, I know. But I, 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 I I'm. It's not often that I'm kind of can't think of where to start. But is there anything that you want to share? tell me a little bit about what what is it that you're hoping for from from now on personally? And in that broader realm of what it is that you're doing for for you now, where are things that for you personally, what is it that you're wanting from from here on? You ask great questions. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> I mean, one of the things as well, people listening, this is the first time that I've got because Rash has done an amazing thing, and um, one of the things that we've had between us, which I want to share as well, to give um, just to give the awareness that we're very much mirroring each other, and since we've come together, there's been a you know we see in each other, you know, what we often don't see in ourselves, but what we see in each other is, is the reflection of ourselves. So what's been amazing is Rash has given me the opportunity. <laughs> the yeah, it's like that. That's but, what yeah, I see. You know, so, yeah, it's what he sees when he looks in the mirror. He's like, man, shit, I could have swore. I could have swore I was black. What happened? He's like, I don't know, it's, no, it's me. So, um, but what I mean by that is that Rash has given me the opportunity to share my story pretty much, you know, at this extent, you know, to this extent for probably one of the first times, so it's exclusive for the Rash, okay. Rash TV. Thank you um, and that's a gift in itself, because what this does for me at the moment, where I would like to, to is just to really embody the vastness of this creative field that we are all part of, mm. and live in that, and continue to dissolve and detach from all of the conditioning, mm. all of the... Um, subconscious labeling and the, the projections and the judgments, expectations and conditions and empower others well, that's to amazing. do the same. I think that's amazing. Well, I know you've got a workshop that's coming up this weekend, probably will have gone by the time that this is um, on, 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 my, on my channel, but I think it's amazing the, the work that you're doing in terms of those kind of workshops. It's amazing the work that you've done, lots of work you've done with one-to-ones with people. Um, and you know, I just want to say I, I think it's amazing the work that you're doing, and um, 
and have done, and I, I'm sure there are all sorts of people who've already been, who have already, regardless of the plans for the future, have been powerfully impacted by all this stuff that you've done, the talks that you've given, and by you being you and, and, and having the fortitude to just be you in the world and do that work and give them a space to be them. So I just want to thank you very much which, for doing which, that which work. We, which we both do. And you know, you know what we should do? When we was on the sofa, I remember um, Rash sort of questioned me again. But think about this. Just, let's just leave them on this because yeah. we're wrapping up, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. But you can wrap up, of yeah, course. Yeah. Right? But think about this. You're looking through a TV or a computer screen that is projecting us onto some piece of whatever it is to be able to talk to you and we're on a planet in space revolving around in a so-called multiverse. Apparently. Uh, apparently, <laughs> apparently. But then what's really beautiful, if you look at all of the labels that have named everything, Imagine if we take away all of the man-made words that made everything. Yeah. Absolutely. It's just like, what, what is going on here? So let's have fun, and everything I'm doing, you can do. It's just, it's just there. For the, it's just, we just got to all get out of that conditioned, delusional box. I think there's something about that, that joyfulness of just, wow, here it is. And as you, you said it wonderfully, you have this phrase that you often wonderfully say, and all that, you know, that magical, mysterious unknowingness of what it is um, to be able to enjoy that and I think that's maybe a good point to to close in terms of your in terms of your, your journey though from how sometimes because life that whole journey can often seem as though it's very heavy that here are very real issues and in many ways of course when we live in them they are very real and they're very alive and we're in this particular scenario and so on but it's very interesting what in one moment and for one person it might be put it being put in jail for somebody else it's their wife leaves them for yeah. somebody else. Disability. It's, they, they, broke their leg, they, they broke their leg, or for somebody else's a, 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 a serious illness, or being made redundant. Yes. That all these things are that invitation to just, as I kind of put it, look again at life and to and to just enjoy and flow with that. That's as we were saying before. It's already flowing anyway. Come back. It's all flow. It's all flow. It's all flow. Well, pleasure. I'm going to go back to turn the camera. I want to thank you so much. Thank yeah, you. A thank real you. pleasure. A joy. Thank, thank you. you thank much. you very much, my friend. <laughs> yeah, all right, thank you.